Support for LAS comes from USC's highly ranked Gould School of Law. Earn your Master of Studies in Law, an online degree for any professional in every industry. Enhance your career credibility with an essential legal education. More at G-O-U-L-D dot law slash M-S-L. Support for LAist comes from Pasadena Water and Power. Sign up for the Home Improvement Program and save money with evaluations of your residential water and energy use and qualify for water and energy efficient products at no cost. pwpweb.com slash home. LAS Studios. Today on the LA Report, if there's such a thing as good news about the shutdown of the busy 10 freeway, well, we've got it. It could be closed south of downtown LA for about a month, but it could have been shut down for a whole lot longer. We have another strike to tell you about, this time by skilled laborers at California State University campuses. And we have a pair of forecasts, one about the climate, the other about Thanksgiving holiday travel. It's Tuesday, November 14th. I'm Nick Roman. This is the LA Report from LAS 89.3. Well, there's moderately good news about the job of repairing and reopening the closed section of the 10 freeway south of downtown L.A. that was damaged by a big fire Saturday. The freeway will be open in weeks, not months. Here's L.A.'s reporter McKenna Sievertston. Governor Gavin Newsom announced Tuesday that the damaged stretch of 10 freeway is on track to reopen in three to five weeks. He said it does not need to be demolished. Transportation officials believe all of the support pillars can be repaired. Newsom says crews will be working around the clock to get the major roadway through downtown LA up and running again. The materials are all here for the bracing work. There's no supply concerns, no supply constraints. There's no workforce constraints. Contractors are on site, so we have all the component parts that we need. Newsom said repairs are already underway, and he's hoping they can get at least four lanes back open as safely and quickly as possible. Officials will also install a few cameras around the construction so people can check in on the progress at fixthe10.ca.gov. For LAist 89.3, I'm McKenna Siebertson. What the governor and the 300,000 drivers who use that section of the 10 every day had been afraid of was a freeway shutdown of six months or more. That might have happened had the intense heat of Saturday's big fire at a wooden pallet storage yard under the freeway weakened the freeway deck above rather than just a handful of columns that support the deck. As for why something as flammable as wooden pallets would be stored under a busy freeway on land leased from Caltrans, L.A. Mayor Karen Bass says it's not just about what's stored, it's also about oversight and accountability. And all of that, I think, is going to come into question now. Because just in our city alone, you were talking about miles and miles of property underneath the freeways that the state leases out. And so all of that needs to be scrutinized, and the governor has assured us that it will be. As for who set the fire, the mayor says, let the arson investigators do their job and don't listen to rumors. On social media, there's a lot of accusations against the homeless people that were in the area. There is no reason at this point in time to associate the encampment with the fire that took place there. L.A. Mayor Karen Bass, a guest today on Air Talk with Larry Mantle. The mayor says she expects the contractor doing the repair work will get a bonus for finishing early. That's what happened in 1994 when a section of the 10 freeway was rebuilt and reopened just 66 days after it had collapsed in the Northridge earthquake. When we come back, a pair of forecasts, one about the climate, the other about Thanksgiving holiday travel. Support for LAS comes from USC Gould School of Law, the first law school in Southern California with a history of excellence and innovation. Earn your Master of Studies in Law, a degree for any professional in every industry with options to study 100% online or in person. Expand your expertise and enhance your career credibility. Specialize in a range of legal areas relevant to your role or organization, including business, entertainment, HR, healthcare, compliance, finance, and cybersecurity. 
More at G-O-U-L-D dot law slash M-S-L. Support for LAist comes from Pasadena Water and Power. Sign up for the Home Improvement Program and save money with no cost evaluations of your residential water and energy use. Residential customers can also qualify for no cost efficiency products like smart thermostats, low flow shower heads, and LED light bulbs. Services subject to eligibility requirements, open to residential electric customers only. To learn more, visit pwpweb.com slash home improvement. This is the L.A. Report. I'm Nick Roman. Well, let's see. This year in Southern California, we've seen strikes by L.A. Unified Support staff, Hollywood scriptwriters, Hollywood actors, and health workers at Kaiser Permanente. And today, we have another one. This time, more than 1,000 plumbers, carpenters, and other skilled workers at 22 California State University campuses have walked off the job for one day. They're members of Teamsters Local 2010, which says those skilled laborers are paid about 23% less than workers doing the same jobs at community colleges or University of California campuses. Spencer Owen is a plumber at Cal State Northridge. We've had so many employees and members leave Cal State Northridge because of better offers at other places throughout the city and everything like that, just right down the street at Pierce College. The Cal State Chancellor's Office calls the strike unlawful. It says the university has offered the workers 15% pay raises spread over the next three years. Our weather forecast calls for rain overnight across Southern California and rain, in fact, all the way into Saturday. LA's climate emergency reporter Aaron Stone has a longer-term forecast for us. It's the National Climate Assessment from the nation's top scientists. Here's Aaron. The report says that a lot of what we're already experiencing here in Southern California, drought, extreme heat, flooding, and fire, will only worsen if global greenhouse gas emissions aren't cut significantly within this decade or soon after. A key message is that the climate crisis is leading to a drier future overall in the West. At the same time, wet years, when they do come, are expected to be even wetter. For example, the report highlights the disproportionate flooding risk that predominantly Black and Latino communities face in South L.A. The report emphasizes the need to adapt in a variety of ways, such as more sustainable water management and improving legal protections for outdoor workers. For LAist 89.3, I'm Aaron Stone. Hitting the road for Thanksgiving next week. Well, the Automobile Club of Southern California says you'll be part of a record number of travelers, 4.6 million. That's up 3% from last year's record. About 85% of those folks will be driving. Busiest time on the freeways out of town, a week from tomorrow, the day before Thanksgiving. Thanks for listening to the L.A. Report. I'm Nick Roman. Be sure to listen again tomorrow. The L.A. Report is produced by Libby Rainey and Tiffany Ujie. Megan Garvey is the executive editor. Catherine Mailhouse is our director of content development. Our engineer is Tui Mao. Original music by Scott Kelly. You can read more about our stories at LAist.com. You can also listen live anytime on the LAist app or on the radio at 89.3 FM. Listeners like you help make the L.A. Report possible, so please donate at LAist.com slash join. This podcast is supported by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe quality journalism makes Southern California a better place to live.